Okay, so let's get into the second thing that makes JavaScript weird and awesome. If you just caught this video, I'm in the middle of five. You'll want to start from video one. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Uh, but the second thing that makes JavaScript weird and awesome, this is the one that honestly makes it really, really awesome, especially if you're doing Node.js, um, is the event-driven environment. Um, and let's kind of get into what that means, especially I'll give you an example of how it's different versus PHP. Um, if we have a PHP script here uh, and your load, say, let's load tweets page two. Uh, the PHP script is going to start doing some things, maybe get your username and then go to the database, get your tweets, put together your HTML page, spit out the page and then your script exits and it's done. So your PHP script is finished um, and you're good to go. Uh, and so at that point, PHP is dead, it's done, it's not doing anything unless you reload the page or load a different page. It runs, it loads all of its stuff, and it dies. Um, and if you rerun it, it's going to rerun it again. Uh, JavaScript is completely different. JavaScript loads up your page and then it stays in memory waiting. It waits for events because JavaScript is not just information, it's user events, it is click events, it's drag events, it's typing, it's uh, scrolling. Um, and so let's just look at code to give you some more examples. Now, this is a really common jQuery code right here. It's a document ready function that says um, when a button is clicked, alert yay. I'll show you what this does. Let me save and refresh. Click yay. Click another button. Yay. All right. So uh, what the what JavaScript is doing when it runs this is nothing, actually. Uh, it's running this. And remember those first class functions that I showed you in the last video? Here's one right here. We're basically giving the document ready function one argument, which is this. So whenever the document's ready, run this function. So JavaScript is not actually this script that we have right here is not doing anything until the document is ready. Then it fires this function, which sets up a listener on button. So whenever the button is clicked now, it's going to fire this function as argument number two. So once again, JavaScript hasn't done anything again. We have a listener for the button click, and that's it. It's event driven. It's listening for a click event on the button. Um, and so the implementation, the impl implementations, the implementations, uh, <laughs> What this means is huge. Uh, and so it means that there's this entire ecosystem that has to be built around event-driven programming. All these other things we're going to get into in the next videos are a result of the event-driven environment. Uh, it means a couple things. It means that this script will fire once and it will not fire again. Uh, just like PHP, it doesn't have to refire the script every time something happens. It only runs the little piece that has to run because it stays in memory. Uh, let me show you what I mean here. Let me say var a equals one. Um, and on click, we're going to alert one. Um, and so, and actually I'll do that and also go console log setting this up. Man, that's a lot of T's. Setting this up. So we're running some setup script here. And then whenever it's clicked, we're going to alert, not one, we're going to alert A. So here you go, console log setting this up. And when I click, I don't get another setting this up console log because my whole script didn't run again. My whole application did not rerun. Um, all this kind of is stayed up in memory. The only thing that actually ran is this little function, this one line of the function. That's all that ran on my click event. So when people say JavaScript is fast, that's what they're talking about. JavaScript as a language is not actually really, really fast, but JavaScript has the ability to stay in memory and only fire what it has to fire. And that's what's fast about JavaScript, especially Node.js. Um, in Node.js, your application runs, it's sitting in memory, um, and when a page request comes through, it only fires the code that has to do with that little bitty page request. Everything else is already loaded in memory. Um, and so that's kind of what it means to have an event-driven environment, is we can take this argument function, which in this case is a callback to the click event, and we can just kind of remember that callback event. We can remember that callback function and fire it whenever we need to fire it. And that's all we have to do. So that's kind of how the event-driven environment of JavaScript works. 
Um, and that actually creates some problems that have to be solved with complex things like closures, scope, and context. Let's go ahead and get into those. And this is some of the real meat and potatoes, um, intermediate level JavaScript that we're about to be getting into here.